In this little video, we're going to be looking at paperback book cover templates for Affinity Publisher. Two, in fact. Um, one's 8x5 and the other's the B4, B format, <clears throat> as used in Europe. The 8x5 is the US, and the B format is generally used in Europe. In Europe. So let's have a look. In the two most common formats that we're talking about there, the US 8x5 paperback, and the EU B format paperback, sometimes referred to as <clears throat> airport fiction. The book cover template to start with. Now this free book cover template, or well, there's two of them actually, includes a full front and back cover for a paperback or soft cover, including an adjustable spine. Simple to customize, simple to use, and you can adjust them to suit your own layout. Now they're fully customizable with a spine that can be resized easily. Now there are, shall we say, thousands of spine calculators out there on the e internet, but spine calculation is relatively easy for a standard print book, and we'll come to that momentarily. To remember to set the accurate spine width for your cover, because if you send the cover in without the correct spine width, to a printer, they'll probably reject it and you'll spend ages toing and froing. So let's see if we can get it right in the first place. So firstly, find your word count. In Word, click anywhere in your document and your word count will show in the status bar at the bottom left usually. You know, sometimes in different versions, it may be in different places. Choose your trim size. Now we've got 8x5 or B format. But the two I've used here as an example is a 5.5 by 8.5. Now there's not much difference there really. Your word count divided by 475 or 390. That's the number of pages for a 6 by 9 or a 5.5 by 8.5 book. Now we're talking about cover sizes here, so we don't need to really dwell a lot but it does help to know the book page count because you need to work out your spine width. We're not doing pages here, we're doing covers and the cover has a spine. Even a soft cover book has a spine. So if you look at those calculations there, a lot of them are set out for you. And it depends on the type size of your font, of course. If you've got a really big font, you'll only get a few words on a page. If you've got a really small font, you'll get a lot of words on the page. But the average, or the standard, shall we say, is 11 point type. And you can see that there's quite a range of sizes there, depending on the size of your book. And the top one, our 5x8, 11 point type, 350. That's the standard word count per page. For your reference, the standard US book sizes in inches are as follows. You can pause that and absorb that at your leisure. For our templates, spine width and page count, these are the ones we're using. You've got paperback, 11 point, white 80 gram bond, and 350 pages in total. The B format book is almost the same overall. It's five, five and one eighth inch by seven and three quarter inch in size. So there's not going to be much difference there. So you can probably work on the same size. If you need to adjust the document sizes, of course, that's what these templates are for. You can do that quite easily. And with these two, we've set the page count at 350. We can now, for 350 um, words per page, we can now set the spine width. And you can see the calculation there, a standard typeface, standard type 11 points, and standard margins, and standard spacing. Don't forget you'll need to add title pages, copyright, table of contents, and other pages to the stack of pages and if you've got any images there's the extra 
So you add together the number of pages you get from your word count, from your front and back matter, from your images, and there you have it. It's fine with calculators. There's a couple. They're, they're quite usable, but you'll find a lot, you'll find many, many, many of them out there. KDP have them, Lulu have them. In fact, just about anybody that prints books has one on their website. So let's get started, shall we? I don't want to dwell all day on the spine width. Just follow what we've got in the templates, which are freely available from my website. Download and install the font, which is in the zip file, the Acra font. Download the document template zip file from my website and open them up and extract them all before opening the Affinity Publisher file. Now the 8x5 paperback layout, that's what your template will look like. Um, I've embedded those two images there from Unsplash, so you can find them quite easily on Unsplash, but they're just samples. Of course, that's a very bad book cover design, as you can see. But I just wanted to show you where the images were. And on the right hand side, you can see the heading, your images, <coughs> excuse me, your images here. And you can see the two images, front and back cover. There's a spine in the middle. Now, when you place those cover images, make sure you observe the H and W and X and Y sizes in the transform thing so that they're exactly the same. You can adjust them there, of course. You probably should know that by now. Now the B format paperback layout and there's that image is in highlight. You can see it in the layers on the right hand side and you can see the red border around it and that's the back cover. And in the tech, in the um, picture frame you've got down the bottom, that's where your that's where your barcode goes. Um, and of course, with those images, you can then design your own image that goes on the book cover. If you've got one image that wraps around the spine and goes right across, you can do that too. You just have to place that one and hide the other two front and back images. Very easy, very straightforward. The design that you put on your cover, that of course is up to you. Now, if you go to all the settings, you can see what size those images need to be. If you go to document setup and spread setup, you can see the bleed and the margins and everything else that's on there for your reference when you go to the printers. A couple of useful templates, and I hope you do find them useful. If you're undecided about how to go about designing your own book cover graphics or images, you can see my YouTube video on the subject, or even visit my website and find it in the blog, where I go into some detail about designing a book cover. So, for this very short video, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Smashed it.